Amy. Nice to meet you. You too. We are, um, we are drinking. So this, what is, what is our uh, cocktail? You have to say our oh. podcast name. Women worth and weddings. Cheers. You're Cheers. Oh, oh, you're about to spill that. This is not even a real alcoholic drink. No, this is a mocktail. So, you In know, a fancy we're cup. doing dry January. So we are working on our mocktail recipes. This tastes like you're drinking a mock, like a drink, like a yeah. cocktail, but it's actually like the poppy soda. Ginger lime and tart, like real cherry juice. That it's yummy. For you. It is good for you. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so dry dry January, no alcohol. What I do, um, I got this from a TikTok, just to be honest. Um, she did the ginger and lime poppy, the tart cherry juice, that's good for you. And then I have magnesium powder. And I put my magnesium powder in it and I have a little drink every night. Yeah. Perfect. So what are we talking about? It's it's Christmas time. Fa la 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 la. Merry Christmas. What does yours say? Mine your says your mom. Your mom believes in Santa. Mine is friends related because I love friends. Cheers. <laughs> Had this for like ten years. Yes. 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 So what are we talking about today in our Christmas episode? We're going to start off with um, some books that we love. And that we yes. uh, recommend for reading for 2024. Mm -hmm. um, some books, you know, about manifesting, woman's worth, like well being, self help books. Yeah, I love it. I have, I think I shared just a few minutes ago, I think I have 400 and something Audible books in my library. <laughs> um, I am a huge Audible book listener because yeah. I uh, travel a lot. So that's what I listen to when I'm driving because I, um, I'm either in silence or I'm listening to a book. I don't really listen to music because I'm a maniac. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> so my book that I was rec it was recommended by you that I finished reading a couple months ago was The Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. I thought that book was really good. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. I loved Untamed by Glennon Doyle. Mm -hmm. Doyle? Boyle? Doyle? Yes. Um, <laughs> love, love, love that book. That's a good one. That's a good yeah. book to like inspire you as just like a woman and yeah. And then you said Dream Big by Bob Goff. Yeah, love that book too. Again, very inspirational. I like to listen to books that inspire me in one sh like shape mm -hmm. or another, whether it is personally or for my business or yeah. And then you said Be Yourself Now. Yeah. Again inspirational to kind of mm -hmm. help guide you I think because I do, I've done so much like personal like therapy mm -hmm. um, I tend to gravitate towards books that kind of help me stay like yeah. present in those moments so yeah and I love reading books like that that are like, good ones I'm always looking for recommendations I am trying to find like good podcasts too that are on the same kind of boat mm -hmm. um, either self-help or like design related kind of podcast. Yeah. So I've been trying to dive in and figure some out. So if anyone has some recommendations for that, that'd be awesome. Yeah, drop it in the comments. We love, if you have a book that you're listening to that's changed your life or a podcast that you love listening to, let us know. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about balance. Balancing mm. motherhood, being a spouse, having a home and taking care of it, you know. I'm not things. really done that awesome about balancing my life in 2023, um, especially as a mom. So I, my youngest is 15, and I missed a lot of his um, school activities mm -hmm. and games and stuff because I have weddings. Like, our our weekends are completely, mm -hmm. like, you, we don't have weekends. Mm -hmm. And that's when most of the things happen, like, with my family. So Yeah. Yeah, and that's why, you know, moving forward, like we said in our other episode, we're able to be at the point where we can balance more for the future and, you know, take on less or trade out. You and I both don't need to be at every single wedding, so we're trying to, you know, yeah, go back and forth between who's traveling to Charleston and, you know, searching more balance because we've been very unbalanced in our personal lives for a while. Yeah, so we need to do a better job at balancing that. So for me... I think I just want to, um, I mean, because when you run a business, you just are not always, you can't always just be, like, be balanced. Yeah. So you have to be unbalanced to grow. But for me, it's just kind of knowing that um, 
being able to be at a lot of things or more things Mm -hmm. than I currently am. Yeah. Um, Yeah, same. I just, I'm a homebody. And so being home and then it's just like once you get home from traveling, then it's like groceries and cleaning and all the things. So it's hard to get, you know, an actual time off. Because when your days that you are off, you're doing all the errands that you need to do. So Yeah, for sure. I think also for 2024, I would like to get more help in the house because Mm -hmm. that will free me up to be able to, you know, not do exactly what you're saying. We come home on Monday. We have had, you know, two, three, four weddings sometimes um, since Thursday of the previous week. And then it's laundry and cleaning and you know, meal prepping and all those things. And so just getting, you know, help in the house would be amazing. Yeah. I would love yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, just finding balance for 2024 for sure. Um, being home more, having more family time. Um, I, all of our family is basically, like, outside of the state. So being able to find time to, you know, go visit our family that's in the south and – yeah, do all the things. like your grandmother who yeah. just told me yesterday about how I never visit her. Yeah, well, I've been meaning to call her too. So <laughs> that's on my list of things to do. So fun. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. so let's talk about some like holistic like wellness stuff that we do during our busy season that kind of helps us find balance. Yeah. One, or makes us feel better. Yeah. One big thing that I do is I get B12 shots. Yeah, and I did actually like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, B12 shots are good. Um, I get them, I was getting them every week, but then I kind of backed off and now I'm doing it every other week. And that really helps me with my energy levels. Mm-hmm. Um, plus I'm anemic, so that helps kind of mm-hmm. keep that in check as well. Yeah, and most women are low on vitamin B, magnesium, vitamin D. You know, yeah. Those kind of things. Iron, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So I have a regimen that I do that I um, will share with you. I do a lot of different things, but from like baths to uh, castor oil packs to a supplement regimen. So the supplements that I take every day are black seed oil, magnesium, vitamin D, zinc, and um, CoQ10. Is that all of my ones that I... I take magnesium, ashwagandha, vitamin D, lion's mane, and I do the castor oil packs. And I know you do the black seed oil, the CoQ10, and... CoQ10. CoQ10. I, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> really wrong when I, how I typed it. You said that word, and I was like, CoQ10. <laughs> I wrote it down. Oh, uh, yeah. Zinc and your clay baths. Yeah, I do clay, bit, bensonite clay, and um, run a bath with that. A couple of drops of essential oils, either... Um, frankincense or lavender and soak it really really helps um, kind of detoxify Mm -hmm. your body Mm -hmm. you can also add baking soda in there and magnesium like the pure Mm -hmm. kind not the kind that is from like Harris Teeter or your grocery store that has the lavenders and things like that in there because there are chemicals in there that are um, endocrine disruptors and can mess up your hormones so um, just be careful that you're getting those pure yeah pure um, forms of it, but taking those baths. And then I do castor oil packs every night, just castor oil on your stomach, your lymph nodes. and Yeah, my nighttime routine, obviously, skincare, like brushing your teeth, all that simple stuff. And then I do like my drink with the magnesium. So my magnesium is a powder form that has three different types of magnesium from One Up Nutrition or something like that, it's like a watermelon flavor. It kind of tastes like pre-workout. But, yeah. Um, do a scoop of that, and if I can't do like the whole like mocktail situation, I just do a scoop of that in a glass of water, and I'll do my drops of lion's mane in it. So yeah. I, I tend to lean towards um, liquid and powder form of vitamins, just because I yeah. feel like it digests better. Yeah, for sure. So tw- one of the things that I'm doing in 2024 is I am going to start making my own skincare products and um, soaps like laundry detergents, shampoos, um, toothpaste, all that mm-hmm. stuff. So I'm going, I'm going real granola on everybody. Yeah, I like it. I use Molly Suds for detergent. It, I get it from Amazon, but it's like a healthier alternative to like detergent. Cause yeah. You can, like Tide and Gain and all that kind of stuff. Like there's so many big brands out there that actually like disrupt your hormones and everything. So yes. Molly Suds is a good one. It's yeah. A little powder that you throw on it. Mm-hmm. So be on the lookout for that. In the next episodes coming up in 2024, I'll share my recipes for my stuff. I've been doing this like 
moisturizer thing. I think it's, I feel like it's working. It's made my face is really soft. Mm -hmm. I may be all uh, greasy all the time, but we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then also we like to do, so when we're in our busy season, we try to fit in like facials, massages. Um, we fit in the place in Charleston where we do a whole routine. What's the name of them? Synchronicity. Okay. We go there in Charleston and we do a whole routine. They have um, a sauna, they have massage chairs, they have compression, cryotherapy, cryotherapy, cold plunge. Did I see anything? So we usually start with the compression. So mm -hmm. we do the compression um, sleeves on our legs, which I mean, we're on our feet 16, 17 hours um, on a wedding day. So that's great. And then we go from that to salt uh, therapy. So we go oh, into the salt, salt room. room. Um, for 15 minutes we breathe in the salt air and then from that to the massage chairs and these are like alien like massage chairs they're extreme they're amazing yeah. so we like do your arms are in it and everything yeah so. we do that for 20 minutes and then we go from the massage chair to cryotherapy which is a whole chamber the whole body's in there and we yeah. do that for between one to three minutes and then from cryotherapy to the red light sauna or um there's one outside that gets really, really yeah. hot. Yeah. yeah and definitely. then we do the cold plunge, the last thing that we do. Yeah. You know, our little holistic situation that we do. Yeah. It it makes you feel so much better. Mm -hmm. For real. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love doing the IV drips too. Those are really good, but I don't do that as often as I used to. Yeah. I did um, a, a place in Charlotte, the like red light like, um, room. Infrared the, yeah, sauna? Infrared, right, it wasn't a sauna. It was just a red light. It was like you walked in, you had a red light in front of you and behind you, and you're just like staying there naked. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, I like that. I um, On my Christmas list, I have like a little mobile sauna, a little cold plunge tub, and I have like a little uh, red light for a full body. Yeah. Well, that's that like mask thing that I put on my face has the yeah. red light therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had that on my list too. Yeah. So... I'm sorry, my dog is like chewing on a bone right next to us because she's attached to us. She's a Velcro dog. Mm -hmm. She is. We tried uh, to put her sure. in a room and she threw a fit. So mm -hmm. she's here. She's on the ground. She's a Rottweiler. <laughs> <laughs> in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> but yeah. Do you have any other things like tips and tricks that you use during busy seasons or like when the busy season slows down and you're trying to like recoup and like yeah, I mean, to yourself? Breath work is huge. Um, if you don't know what breath work is, I mean, look it up um it's you know Wim Hof breathing is really really great way to oxygenate oxygenate your body um grounding yourself walking outside um being in the sun as much as possible yeah, taking you're supposed to get sunshine right when you wake up during the day yeah and go outside to get sun on your face yeah so I mean being outside is amazing doing hikes and all that stuff I mean that's mm -hmm. That's a good way for me personally. That's the way that I ground myself. So I always feel better when I am outside. Yeah, I do too. I like uh, working on my greenhouse. It makes me feel better. Yeah. My version of a day off. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But what is your plans for Christmas? Where you got? Where are you going? Um, staying home and relaxing. I will. We have a. Well, actually, we have a um, wedding on the twenty second. So we'll be in Charleston right before Christmas, and then we'll be getting back on the twenty third. I'll be going to the Hornets basketball game because my um, best friend is one of the honeybees for the Hornets. Going to support her, and then next day is Christmas Eve, and we go to your house for Christmas Eve. We have Christmas Eve dinner with you. We do Christmas morning with you, and then after that, we go straight to my husband's family, and we have their Christmas because they sleep in longer than you guys do. You guys are like, 7 a.m., let's go, and his family is like, 11, 12, like, all right, let's That's have a lunch and eat some presents. Me. And then we do Christmas dinner at my house. And so yeah. I cook for Nathan's family. Yep, it's going to be good. We're going to have a good good doing? little break. I am, we have our wedding that we're going to, our last wedding of the year, mm -hmm. um, 22nd. And then coming back and getting ready for, you know, Christmas with everybody. Mm -hmm. I love that I love my kids holidays. love to wake up at my house in the morning. Yeah, I tried it once where I didn't wake up at your house and I was not happy about it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. I'm the cool mom. Mm -hmm. Until I have my own kids, maybe routines will change. But as of right now, I got a pretty good thing going on. Yeah. So. Yeah, waking up at your mom's still opening presents, that's pretty 
Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You got a good gig. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be 30 doing it. <laughs> Tell us about your Christmas party that you're doing this weekend. What yeah. activities have you planned for us? Do you oh. have, what are your themes, your food so ideas, excited. Your drink ideas? So on top of being a wedding planner, I decided to plan a party at my house because I am crazy. And that's why I did it during Halloween weekend. So I'm having a Christmas party for our friends mm-hmm. and team. Um, we are going to have all the good snacks from all of the Instagram videos that I've watched over the past year. <laughs> um, but I have some fun games. So we are doing um, this game. I'm going to probably mess it up. But it looks like a beer pong. But you um, you have like the solo cups and they're kind of spread out. And there's stuff underneath each solo cup. So when they get the cup, they pick it up. And whatever's underneath the cup, they get to keep. So it could be like candy it could be like random things but there's also going to be little like gems of cash under there as well which Mm -hmm. is going to be fun for everybody Mm -hmm. we're doing um the white elephant game so we're doing um we're exchanging gifts that's going to be fun or not fun people either love or hate that game (laughs) nathan already messed up and he spent 24 dollars on the gift and i was (laughs) like babe it was a 10 dollar max and he was like i swear you said 20 and i was like well it's 10 So he's like, we better win that. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it is one of those things where people, um, I mean, it's kind of mean because you get to take gifts from people, but whatever. It's Yeah, how does it actually work? You get to open, everyone opens a gift, and then what, does each person have a chance to steal one option? No, so you open your gift, and so when it's the next person's turn, they either get get to to take your gift, or they get to open a new one. Yeah, I hated that game growing up. Yeah. I remember that. I remember that game in, like, youth group and stuff. Yeah. And they would be walking towards me, and I'd be like, no, stay away from me. <laughs> yes. They would take the gift, and I would always end up with something crappy. Like socks. Or hair yeah. brush. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Um, it's going to be fun. But I think the cash game is going to be fun. That's going to be a, a crowd pleaser well of fire. Yeah. We're going to do um, batch cocktails. What are you uh, making? Well, I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out. You're really excited about some gin drinks. Well, I'm making that. That's going to be just like individual okay. drinks. We're gin and lemon. You don't have simple to do batch. You can just like let people bring their own. Well, everybody's supposed to bring their their favorite drink. Okay. Um, but we'll. I may do like one big batch cocktail. Yeah. Well, I usually just do like a sangria. Yeah. Big batch. But it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have we're gonna have a good time. We get to celebrate with our team mm-hmm. and not talk about business. We have an amazing team, so I am excited to get to see them and spend time with their families. Yeah. So we're Yeah, because even though we have a team, sometimes we don't see each other very often because we're all at different weddings. And so getting together with all of our families is really nice. Yeah, because we are a very uh, family oriented company, so we'd like to spend time with our team's family. So it's gonna be a good weekend. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we hope you have a Merry Christmas and you get to spend time with your friends and family this year. And we will see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye.